Here are some notes on the treatment of fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia is a chronic pain syndrome lasting more than three months. It peaks in age in the fifth to seventh decades of life, and it tends to be more prevalent in women from a four to one ratio to a seven to one ratio, somewhere in there. Symptoms include pain, as we mentioned, fatigue, sleep issues, depression, anxiety, headaches, cold intolerance, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, and fibro fog, or kind of brain fog. There are a few FDA-approved treatments, SNRIs like duloxetine and milnasopran, and also anticonvulsant pregabalin is also approved for use. First-line options include these, but also other drugs. SNRIs are particularly helpful if the patient has excessive fatigue because you have that norepinephrine reuptake inhibition, gives you a little more energy. TCAs, tricyclic antidepressants like nortriptyline, are also a first-line option. These are especially helpful if the patient has insomnia and depression because there's a bit of antidepressant effect there. And then this is the mechanism of action for pregabalin and gabapentin. And those are particularly helpful if the patient also has associated insomnia because these can make you a little bit groggy or sleepy. Treatment approaches are obviously multimodal. In addition to these medicines, in addition to this pharmacotherapy, you also want to do psychotherapy and promote exercise for the patient. There are some misconceptions about medicines that are not recommended and are ineffective. NSAIDs alone are not effective. SSRIs require very high doses to have an effect. That's why we recommend SNRIs like duloxetine and milnasopran. Opioids have no proven benefit, but there is an exception with tramadol, which is an opioid but also has an SNRI effect. Tramadol might help, especially in combinations with acetaminophen. Overall, your treatment goal is to reduce pain, to improve sleep, to improve function, and to improve the patient's emotional state.